Now this I wanna I wanna bring to your attention, people. These are the kind of bags that they offer uh, the Christians here in uh, Indiana. These are to me called the the Cain offerings, the offerings of Cain. In this weather, in the in shelters that use Jesus Christ, the rescue missions Jesus saves, using that name, that blasphemous name, they feed you like a kindergartner, they feed you like a plate and just like a little bundle, almost like this kind of stuff, for people that are hungry, these grown people, older people, about 60s, 70s, 50s, uh, 40s, 30s, and uh, you feed them like kindergartners, their servings, they're exactly like the cafeteria plates that you see that you grew up seeing in your cafeteria. Uh, later on, I'm sure you got to buy your lunch, those that are well off. Um, so you might not understand, but you might, maybe, maybe, maybe not. But to those that do, which is a majority, um, these are the cane offerings that they're giving in America. These are the Christians in Indiana, Evansville, Indiana. It's just like saying, I'm just going to offer something. I did it. I'm good. That's it. I'm going to be a good, I'm a good Christian or whatever. Follower of the Messiah. These are actually kind of more uh, of a taunt. I'm not saying there it's an offering. Without an offering, you're even worse off. This is like, this is not, this is like for a snack. This is not a meal or this is not a anything uh, so productive. You need a fork. Make sure you put the fork with this. What do you eat this with a fork? Do you eat raisins with a fork? Sure, whatever. Or oh, the fork for this. You need the hot water. I don't know where you can get the hot water from. This is not hot water. There's not a whole heating system anywhere. It is snowing outside. But these are cane offerings. Offerings that make you feel like you're doing good, but they're not. It's a big deception. You deceive your heart. You say, oh, bless you, and then take off. Your your faith is dead. And so, obviously, with this blasphemous name of Jesus Christ, your faith is dead. I can't go into the rescue mission until it's so systematic. Unless you have a number. Unless you're going to be there for two weeks. You can't just spend the night, even with this kind of weather. As the night approaches, I get worried and... and um, of how we're gonna do, how we're gonna survive it. You could die. <laughs> it, it does get really cold. The body's a really sensitive, fragile uh, mechanism. Um, and so, just wanted to put that out there. This is the kind of offerings in both shelters. Both shelters uh, give give very very little. Of, like kindergartners again, they just want to take your names and make sure so they can keep the whole system going. It's all about the names and about numbers, so it's all systematic or else, who knows? It's not out of the heart, I can tell you that 100%. It's not out of the heart. They just do those things and do these so they can feel like they're doing, and there's there's hundreds, hundreds of, of uh, people needing assistance. And trust me, this, this is to the Father a, a disgrace. It's not a good offering. I have it, but then, you know, it doesn't do anything for one to six three and almost two hundred pounds. And there's people that are bigger than me and older, and they just can't do with this stuff. Maybe if I was a little kid, little kid, but that's all I have to say about that. You've seen the places, and sometimes not even worth to go eat not even worth the walk to go all the way over there with my cart over there and, and uh, I did get a few little blankets I get two blankets I'm seeing uh, hopefully I hear there's a white flag that means they have to let you stay inside or something and so I uh, hope I survive so I can go back down south I, I, I prayed and I prayed that the Father sent me down south and this is for the Father may the Father bless this video this recording thank you for clicking this is the Christianity that we're living in today. It's a huge deception. It's just becoming more and more evident and uh, for me and and uh, those believers, true believers. Ultimate goal is to cut off 
and the ultimate goal is to hate this life because there's so much counterfeit there's so much counterfeit uh christianity it's not even a it's it's just not good <laughs> probably